All right, what's happening you guys? This is the workout for January 14th. It is uh, upper body emphasized, of course, and we're gonna start off with a little warm up here for the, uh, the shoulders and the back. Um, there's three parts to this. Each part's gonna be 30 seconds in duration, and you're gonna do this all together at once, so like a little superset, okay? So just pay attention here. The first one you're gonna be familiar with because it's very similar to a face bowl. Essentially it is a face bowl. We're just going down a little bit lower than normal. All right, so we're gonna set the band about shoulder height. You're gonna step back, split up the feet here, and we're just gonna pull up here like so. Squeeze back the shoulder blades, keep the elbows up. Notice my arms are parallel to the floor. Okay, bring it right forward again, and pull back. Okay, 30 seconds of this. And then, after 30 seconds, we're gonna follow up with the elbows slightly down at an angle. So now we're going from parallel to the floor to like 45 degrees below parallel. So now we're 45 degrees, we're doing the same motion, 30 seconds, squeezing back those shoulders, and then finally the last one here, the easiest one, we're going to bring those elbows right in, and we're going to do a complete um, row. This is very similar to a one-arm dumbbell row, or I should say a, um, a two-arm dumbbell row, of course. So we're doing two arms. You're going to pull them, you're going to squeeze back, and again, you want to be 90 degrees the elbows here at the bottom. Okay, now of course my arms are perpendicular to the floor, right? Pulling back, squeezing back those, um, those lats, the sides of the back, right? Okay? So, um, you're gonna go 30 seconds each round, you're gonna do three rounds of that, okay? Then, first uh, major exercise we're gonna get into is a one arm incline dumbbell press. So the bench is set to 45 degrees. Um, you can take only one dumbbell, of course. Do it one at a time. Um, guys, you can start with about 30 to 35 pounds, ladies. Um, 15 to 20. And the bench is set to 45 degrees. We're going to do reps of eight here. So we're going to bring that dumbbell just over the chest at the top here. And we're going to press up. We're going to fully extend the arm, right? So at the top here, the arm is perpendicular to the floor. And as I come down, I bring it just to the outside of the chest, okay? At the top of the rib cage. All right? And press it up. Okay? We're going to do eight. And then bring it down to the bottom here. Go to the other arm. And do eight. Okay? Keep that shoulder pack down. All right? Uh, you're going to go for two minutes. All right? Third exercise, close grip, barbell, bench press. So we're gonna keep the arms nice and close to the sides of the body as we press. So those hands are going to be uh, shoulder width apart, okay? So, bench, in terms of positioning, same as bench press. The head of the bench is gonna be just past the bar, like an inch or two, not a lot. Okay, we want a lot of clearance so that when we're pressing, the bar doesn't hit the cage. So, right back, set the bench, set the bar to where you would set it for a bench press. Here, the hands are going much more narrow, right? Going from shoulder width apart, gonna push against the back of the cage, bring it out, and come down to that lower sternum position. We don't have to touch the chest here. We're going to press directly up, come back down, keeping those elbows in tight the side of the body. Four sets of ten, okay? And just to give you a, a better visual cue, when you're pressing on this one, it's kind of like a row positioning. Okay, because the bar is coming down here, we're about 90 degrees to the elbow, maybe just slightly less, and then we're pressing up. Okay, so very similar to a row, only of course the tension's in the opposite direction, right? Okay, third exercise. Flat dumbbell fly. So you're just gonna pull your bench out of the cage, of course. You're gonna lie back, and if you remember this one here, we're gonna keep the palms facing towards the feet, 
And then as we open up the arms, we're going to face the palms towards the ceiling. Slowly rotating out, getting a nice stretch in the chest. A little bit of flexion in the elbow, like 20, 20 degrees or so. And then we're going to come back up, squeeze the chest, and break those palms back so that they're in a pronated position. That is the palms, look where my palms are facing, they're facing uh, away from me, right? They're facing down towards, um, or out towards my feet. Okay? So again, opening up. Nice stretch here, coming up and squeezing back to the top. Three sets of 12. Um, ladies, start with 12 to 15 pounds, guys, with about 20 to 25 pounds. Okay, again, three sets of 12, go every two minutes. Okay, and I failed to mention, on your, on your close grip uh, bench press, you're gonna use about 75% of the weight that you can use on a bench press, okay? Okay, fifth exercise. We're gonna do chest supported, wide arm dumbbell row. And well, the best way to show you guys this one. Well, listen, this is exactly like the, the uh, or very similar to the first part of the band exercise that we did today. So we're gonna take the arms and we're gonna lift them out to the side like this. That's all you're doing on this. Except you've got dumbbells in your hand and your chest is on the bench, okay? So those elbows are coming out nice and wide, squeezing back those shoulder blades. But of course, we wanna make sure that we're 90 degrees at the elbows. We do not wanna pull in like this, okay? We wanna pull out and wide. All right, so you're gonna position yourself on the bench with your chest in, okay? You, can, you don't have to position yourself the way I just did. In terms of setting yourself up, you could just lean into the cage or into the bench and then grab the dumbbells from the floor. Palms facing back, of course, so again that coordinated position, and you're gonna lift out, and those elbows are coming directly up towards the ceiling, okay? So pulling those elbows directly up towards the ceiling as best as you can. Trying not to let the elbows, do not let the elbows fall behind you, okay? We're lifting up and directly back, okay? That's the hard thing on this exercise, and this is where you might find um, even, even using just a bit of weight uh, is quite challenging, okay? So on this exercise, uh, ladies or guys, um, I'm gonna say uh, 30 to 35 pounds, okay? Again, that's for the guys. Ladies, uh, 15 to 20 pounds, okay? And lastly, the, the sixth exercise, we did this one uh, not too long ago. We're going to read this in again. And that is a dumbbell pullover. This is a great movement for mobility of the shoulder, a great stretch in the uh, upper legs. Um, and again, we'll do this one arm at a time. You could do this two arms at a time. I like to do one arm at a time just because sometimes we have a difference in, in terms of range of motion from one shoulder to the other. Usually the dominant arm is uh, tighter, okay? So, upper back on the bench, how much of your back? About a third, okay? The, the entire shoulder blade structure should be up on the bench, okay? And then of course we're gonna drop the hips down, we're gonna take the dumbbell, and we're gonna let that dumbbell come back as much as we can, doing a nice stretch up here, just sort of almost up into the armpit, just beneath the arm here, and back up in the starting position. Nice stretch, as much as you can, keep the hips down. Try not to let the hips come up, okay? We wanna keep those hips anchored down, coming back and over, okay? We're gonna do one arm, of course, when you go to change the weight, just like you would on your incline dumbbell press, your one arm incline dumbbell press, weight down, right? And then go to the other arm. Feeling again, that really nice stretch coming back to the top. Nice stretch on the way down here and back up. We're trying to keep the arm virtually straight, not quite, but virtually straight on this one, okay? And that is all, okay? Hopefully you're watching these videos because, um, you know, they do give you some, some good information in terms of the setup um, and the execution of the exercises. So, I guess if you're seeing me saying this, you're watching the videos. 
anyways, good luck. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. I'll be here early in the morning, and, uh, and of course, I'll uh, be, be in here throughout parts of the day, okay? Have a wonderful workout, and I'll see you guys soon.